Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, RaptorX here with Good Clean Gaming RX and today we are going to go over the Grim Hex landing zone or Grim Hex location uh, just because I know this is a little bit of a hot spot and so for new players uh, it'd be a good idea to know kind of what's going on and what you can expect here. So if you're waking up in Grim Hex uh, as always you can exit by holding the F key and left clicking on the little open button there uh, and then you'll continue to the exit sign. Now this will put you out on the top deck on one of these various different locations. So I'm going to go ahead and go around, it could be any of these doors really, and we'll show you the various different things that can be done here. So uh, starting off with this little door here right next to the Grim Hex sign. Uh, you can go into here and this is the Dumpers Depot location. So they've got all different sorts of um, weapons and, well not weapons, sorry, uh, ship systems that can be put into place in your ship. And of course the, uh, the terminal there to purchase any of those as well as uh, various different skins to go on some of the ships available in the verse. Um, the person at the counter here cannot be interacted with at this point, um, but you can purchase, of course, any of these different uh, items and then put them onto your ship. Um, that kind of makes up the extent of Dumpers Depot at this location. Um, so we'll go ahead and head back out. There's not really anything that can be gotten in here. So we'll continue on out here and continue around. This one's closed. There's nothing that you can do to get into there. And then each of these are more spawn closets or places that you will wake up, habitations. Um, your fines and citations are right there in case you get uh, like a landing fine or something like that. Um, we'll go into the mid deck here. take a little look around here. Now this is the racing zone. Uh, races have not been enabled as of the latest patch. Um, they currently uh, currently have uh, something says like races on hold until there we go. Um, high risk you know until the asteroid field is cleared so no racing going on currently uh, but there's a little bit of a deck you can kind of take a look out and see some of the exterior of their asteroid field. There we go, races on hold till debris is cleared. Um, there's a little bit of walking around here that you can do, thinking maybe in the future these might be like betting terminals or something like that. Um, and it looks like you can get, uh, get your hot dogs here, if you feel like getting one of those. Uh, but that's the extent of the racing platform. There's another Another little landing zone down there that you can look out and watch the asteroid field. Now continuing on, oh he's walking very slowly, <laughs> continuing on through here. Uh, this is Scudder's. Uh, where you can purchase uh, food and drink as well as various different armor sets uh, ranging from medium to light I believe I don't think there are any of them that are a high armor uh, let's see here this one is a this is a heavy armor okay so there is everything from everything from light armor and undersuits all the way up through heavy armor can be purchased here uh, as well as some backpacks and then you can also get uh, the sidearms and various different personal weapons um, as well as magazines and whatnot for each of those um, there are it appears some flares that you can purchase also and 
you know, all of the ammunition and whatnot is available for any of the weapons purchased here. We'll go back out this door, and this one's just going to put us right back at the end of the other side. There's another signs and citations right up here, uh, in case you don't feel like going to that one. Now we'll go down to the lower deck here and have a little look around. Um, if we head down this way, uh, first of all, you've got um, the hacking location uh, where you can buy the Tiger's Claws, uh, which are the, the hacking chip that's purchasable in-game for either hacking down comm sites or for clearing your crime stat, if you've happened to have gotten one of those uh, through either no fault of your own or through taking an illegal mission. If you continue down here, there's actually a zero-g exit right there. Um, actually, that one's over that way. We'll open up this one and take a little look. This one goes into the back of the bar um, where you can meet uh, a couple different individuals, I believe. Well, there's supposed to be one that you can meet here. Um, but he's not in, apparently. And that's the other entrance into the bar there, is, is um, that side there. Now, if we continue on to the second entryway here, to the left, uh, this is the admin station, and you can go in here, and there's the uh, trade terminal. It's just right here for Grim Hex, uh, where you can uh, say so I wanted to buy something. I can buy scrap or waste, um, and I can, of course, sell it if I've got something in Grim Hex. Uh, for instance, in this case, I've got some, some Vestal water there. Um, they are not interested in purchasing it at this point, so I won't be able to sell any of that. But that's where you can do uh, any of those buy or sells at Grim Hex. There's nothing really down here. Hopefully in the future that'll be fleshed out a little bit more, but for right now, that's it for this little run. Um, now if you continue on, uh, down this center one, it's kind of blocked off partially. Uh, there's nothing to the right there, but if you continue down here, uh, there is actually a mission giver that you can find down these tunnels. You'll have to build up a little bit of rep uh, before you can interact with him, and then there's a mission that you can take uh, right down here, and I believe he's more of the, the criminal element uh, a drug runner or something like that, so you can um, you can get a mission with him, but you do have to have some criminal rep before you can before you can interact with him or, or get the mission. Kind of a bit of a disrepair tunnel down here. Okay, so if we continue on then, this will be doorway 3, if you're going around this way. Uh, you have got the clothing outlet, uh, where you can pick up uh, various different clothes, as well as uh, boots and shoes, and jackets. They do have some pants and whatnot that you can purchase if you want to get uh, official Grim Hex gear or anything like that. They do have various different outfits um, that you can get. Ooh, a trench coat. Ooh, I'm half tempted to get one of those actually. How much? 4,000? Let's try this on. Okay, so it won't, it won't, I'll have to get some other clothes to go on over it. <laughs> because um, that's not exactly the look that I'm looking for. But those who apparently go over your your other clothing, and then that's the other the other entrance into there. So uh, you've got uh, you've got scudders, you've got dumpers depot, 
you've got the clothing outlet there, uh, you've got the, the admin section over there, and then the bar. Now we're going to give a try on these elevators and see this one is working. So this one will take you up to the admin, but I have had issues with these well, up, to, up to the main concourse. I've had issues with these elevators not working. So we'll take a little ride up here to the lobby. And have a little walk around. Uh, there's not really a whole lot up here. There are some entrances out to the old, uh, old landing pads, which we'll go visit in a moment. Um, your other elevator, of course, to go down there. Uh, your ASOP terminals are over here for spawning your ship, uh, which you'll hold F, of course, and click uh, to spawn any of those various different ships that you may have. Of course, if you're just starting out, you probably just have the one. Uh, you've got elevators, one, two, three, and four over there uh, to go to any of your different hangars. And you've got the Green Imperial Medical. Um, which kind of leads me to where Grim Hex gets its name. Um, Grim Hex was actually the Green Imperial Housing Extension. Um, but it kind of fell on hard times and disrepair and some of the lights uh, went out. As you can see, uh, if you take out the E-E-N and the P-E-R-I-A-L from Imperial, uh, you end up with Grim Hex. Um, so housing extension, Grim Hex. So that's uh, that's kind of where Grim Hex got its name. There's more lore, of course, to, to the story. Um, you can set your regeneration or spawn point right here. If you happen to get killed and want to respawn at Grim Hex, this is where you do it. Uh, you've got the pharmacy right here where you can purchase... Uh, any of the different items that are available at the pharmacies. Uh, most of these are just going to be your med pens, but you can also buy the medical device or the medical attachments uh, to putting on to, for putting onto your multi-tool. Um, nothing really going on here. There's a patient check-in um, at one of these locations. If you uh, if you need to go and get medical help, um, there we go. Patient check in right here. If you need uh, medical help, you can go to those and um, get to any of those locations. Hmm, I can't get through there. That'd be interesting if you could get through. I wonder what's back there. All right. So this is the exit. Then I'm going to go back down to the lobby, or to the uh, to the main concourse where you'll wake up, because unfortunately Grim Hex is pretty prone to the elevators breaking. Um, I've had it happen in this patch, I've had it happen in the previous one, so Grim Hex has got a built-in uh, way to get around that if these elevators stop working. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through how to get out of here. So you're going to go ahead and head into the bar. Just right here in between the two elevators. And walk this way. Until you find the other exit. You'll follow that one around. Head out here. And this one says ECL, employees only. You're going to ignore that sign and just continue this way. It's a bit broken down, but there is an airlock here. You're going to go ahead and cycle that, making sure, of course, that you have your helmet on, which you can verify by clicking on the F4 button on your keyboard, just to make sure that you've got that on. You'll go ahead and cycle the airlock here, and this will put you out to atmospheric space. Uh, if you haven't got that elevator, or haven't, haven't got your, uh, your helmet on, you will die at this point, and wake up back in the medical center if you've... Oh, goodness. If you've got your uh, your respawn point set here, so that is one way of getting out. 
But if you don't have your respawn point set here, uh, you'll need, and the elevators are broken, you'll need to use this zero G escape. So you'll kind of go off the edge over there and uh, just come down this direction, follow these pipes. Being careful, of course, not to smack too hard into the floor. And then you'll follow this nice red uh, carpet here, so to speak. I don't think there's really anything over here. Maybe there is an exit. Yes, okay, so there's a secondary exit then over here. Uh, you will basically fly out here into zero G. There used to be a hangar out here, but this one's been destroyed. Uh, and you'll just kind of go out here into the black a little ways. And then you'll look directly up. And you will head up until you clear the outer edge. Take you a couple seconds, but it's a relatively quick trip. You'll be able to use uh, Q, E, and W, A, S, D for your roll and movement. And then as you can see, there are a couple of landing pads here. You're going to want to come over to one of the corners. Because if you land right there and drop off, you'll probably end up getting severely hurt. So I always come down to the corner over here. And then just kind of fly down and you'll touch down and land on one of the landing pads. So this is pad three. Uh, you can then just run across here to where it says airlock. And follow, these are actually the old pads uh, that have been discontinued. And you'll follow this up to the airlock. And you'll get in the same way as you do anywhere else. Hold that F key, click on the open, and then the cycle button over here. And you'll be back in Grim Hex. And thankfully, you'll be in the area with the ASOP terminal. So if the elevators are ever broken, that is the way that you can get back out uh, so that you're not forever stuck in Grim Hex. I'm going to go ahead and we'll get my ship spawned. And I actually have here today uh, the Mustang. There we go. Consolidate out and Mustang. This is the Mustang Beta, uh, not the Alpha, like you might have if you've gotten that um, that particular landing or that particular starter pack. Unfortunately, they've put me on the biggest hangar in Grim Hex. So that's going to take a little bit of a run to get out there. I'm going to hold F and scroll down and click on your desired hangar. Massive hangar, little ship. Not sure what the logic is on that, but it does happen relatively often. If you're spawning little ships, it, it, at least often enough to remark on. Um, if you uh, if you have the Delta here or the Beta, any any of the Mustangs, uh, your entry point is going to be right here. You'll just walk up to the side there and hit Enter Pilot Seat, and of course your ladder and all that will come down. Cockpit will open and you'll be able to go ahead and get in. Um, when you guys first get in, you probably won't have these uh, repeaters or weapons on there. There'll probably just be two. Um, I've retrofitted uh, my ship, and so I've got several of them there uh, that are not stock. All systems operational. I'm going to go ahead and request takeoff. You can do this just as you can with anything else uh, by hitting comlink. And I'm going to jump to there. There we go. And we'll go ahead and hit friends. 
and then click on the green Imperial Landing Services. This little screen will pop up. I've got my voice turned off on here, so you, I don't hear anything, but this will kind of let you know as soon as this disappears uh, that you've had that opened up and that the hangars are going to go ahead and open. You can of course check this by holding the Z key on your keyboard and looking up just to check and verify that those are opening. That's the case here so we'll go ahead and lift off by holding the space bar. You can click on the N key on your keyboard or hit the N key uh, to gear retract your landing gear or Put it back out, of course, if you uh, if you happen to have it up, and then you can fly around using the W A S D keys for your acceleration, deceleration, and strafe left and right. Uh, you can use oh goodness, oops, someone's locking me. Uh, you can use the Q and E keys to roll. And you can use the spacebar and the control button uh, to go up and down respectively. Now, if you are coming to land at Grim Hex, it can be a bit confusing uh, to actually find your way into the landing pad. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of walk you through that. If you look at the station, it's longer one way. It's, it's kind of like an oblong shape here. So if you look on the side, you want to come to the one that's got these big floating rocks right next to it, kind of in a ring shape around the outside. Yeah, yeah, radar long. And you'll slide around there. And as you can see, those are the hangars. You'll go ahead and request landing. Yeah, yeah, one moment. I'm going to go ahead and get into here because apparently someone's taken a fancy to me and wants to go ahead and attack me. Um, you should be careful here at Grim Hex because it is uh, outside of this uh, the landing zone. It is weapons free and there is no Com satellite. So you will get, uh, you can get killed with impunity here. Uh, so it is advisable to take that into consideration. Um, obviously, if you're a new player, I don't recommend you coming to Grim Hex until you've got some flight time under your belt and know your way around your ship um, and how to fly it um, and if you're if you're going up against someone that's that's done any sort of PvP flight uh, you're probably gonna get spanked the first time around it happens to everyone it happened to me dozens of times still does uh, whenever I go up against someone who's better than me and there are there are lots of those um, if you're in a starter ship, you're going to be significantly undergunned. And so just take that into consideration. Grim Hex is, is uh, it's a little bit of the Wild West. It's a weapons-free zone. So, um, But yeah, that's, that's Grim Hex, kind of in a nutshell. Um, it's dark, it's dirty. There are some things that, uh, that you can get here that you can't get elsewhere. Uh, but for the most part, it's a, it's a haven of outlaws, pirates, and killers. Um, a great place for PvP. But if you're not into that, uh, I would advise really to give it wide berth until you've got some, some hours and some stick time under your wings. Um, because unfortunately, it is kind of known as a, as a hostile region and kind of where anything goes including playing new ki uh, killing new players and uh, 
really anything anyone is is fair game out here so um, with that said I'll uh, bid you farewell uh, if you've appreciated this video and have gotten something from it uh, go ahead and hit that like button and consider subscribing for my future videos and I will see you all next time take care everyone ta-ta